Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're diving into something super exciting, creating your custom chatbots in Replicant Chat. Yes, I've been playing with the existing ones, but I'm dying to know how we make our own from scratch. So if we want to build our very own chatbot, what's the first step? Great question. We're going to focus on something called kits. Kits? What are those like? Think of kits as super barebone templates. They come with a set number of characters in an almost empty environment, perfect for building from the ground up. For this demo, we're going to choose kit number two. Kit number two, got it. Are we going to jump right into building? First, let's quickly play it so you can see its default state. We'll click Start. Hey there, so great to connect with you again. Absolutely, we were just talking about how much we enjoy our conversations with you. Uh, I see. The environment is very basic, and look, the characters are just two mannequins. Because we chose a kit for two characters, right? And I bet their personalities are pretty flat at this stage too, a real blank slate. You've got it. It's the perfect starting point for our own creation. Now, when you have a template like this open, you can click on the three dot icon to see more options. And from there, is there like an edit or create button? Precisely. You'll see a pencil icon. Clicking that takes you to the creation page where we can start modifying everything. Okay, here we are on the character modification screen. Let's start with our main character. So even though our kit is for two characters, it looks like the system handle more. I see slots for a main character and four sidekicks. That's right. The template might show more potential slots. But because we chose a two character template, only the main character and sidekick one will be visible. The other sidekick slots are super useful if you want to have off screen voices or characters for narrator style chatbots, or even to recreate conversations with characters who aren't visually present. Oh, that's really clever. So you can have a whole unseen cast providing voices. Exactly. But for now, let's focus on our visible main character. To change its 3D model, we click on its thumbnail. This opens up the character selector. On the left, you have categories like animals, cartoon, fantasy, etc. And when you select a category... All the pre-made character models for that category appear on the right? You got it. For our main character, let's pick something cool from animals. How about this wolf character? A wolf. Awesome choice. We'll let it load for a moment. And once it's ready, we click accept. See, our thumbnail has updated. Next up, let's give our wolf a voice. You can preview the voices using this little speaker icon here. That's super handy to hear them first. Okay, this one sounds good for a wolf. Now for a really fun part, the speech style. This basically defines the character talks. So more than just the voice, it's their mannerisms and way of speaking? Exactly. You can choose from pre-made styles in the dropdown. Or you can type your own. A tip for custom styles. It's often better to reference well-known roles or the personalities of real or fictional characters rather than just describing vocal qualities. This gives the AI a richer understanding. So instead of talks gruffly and uses old-timey words, you'd say something like, speaks like a salty pirate that's been on sea for ages. Perfect example. And that's exactly the style I'm going to choose for our wolf. As for the main description field, this is where you'd put their background story, motivations, goals, all that deeper personality stuff. We'll leave it empty for now, but it's very powerful. So, characters defined, speech style set. What's next? Do we see our pirate wolf in action? We're almost there. Let's click the create button. This will process our changes and let us preview them. Once it's created, we can click play. Yar. Welcome aboard me, vessel, ye curious soul. The name be Wolf, and I've sailed the seven seas longer than most barnacles have clung to their ships. And I'm Sidekick, so excited to meet you. Whoa, the wolf looks great and definitely sounds like a pirate. But the other character is still a mannequin with a flat personality. Now, to keep editing, we can go back to that pencil icon. It now functions as an edit button for this existing chatbot. Or you could go to your My Creations tab, find your saved chatbot, and click Edit from there. First, let's change the environment to better suit our characters. We'll go to the Environment tab, click Set, and choose a style that fits. Ooh, that one is very moody. Perfect for a pirate wolf. Once you click the environment, it's set. Now, if we click Save this time, it will update our chat with the new environment and reload it. Yar, welcome aboard me vessel, ye curious landlubber. Amazing! The new environment really makes a difference. All right, let's finish up by customizing our second character, the Sidekick 1. We'll click the Edit pencil icon again, go to the Character tab, and select Sidekick 1. Same process as before. Click the thumbnail, pick a model. You know the drill. Click the thumbnail. Let's select something similar to the main character. We'll pick this preset, wait for it to load, and click Accept. 
She looks very elegant. Now we'll remove the default description and for her speech style, I'm gonna type in a custom one. Remember our tip about using roles? I'll type a noble lady of a medieval court. A pirate wolf and a noble medieval lady, what a pair. Let's click save one more time to see all our changes together. You're welcome aboard me vessel, ye landlubber. The name be Wolf, and I've been sailing these treacherous waters since before ye were sucking your mother's milk. Greetings, good traveler. I am Lady Annalise of the Northern Realm. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance on this most unusual of journeys. Blast it all. This be no ordinary meeting of minds. A highborn lady and a salty sea dog like meself sharing the same planks. They look and sound incredible, and the environment is perfect. That's so cool! So from here we can just keep tweaking and refining them as much as we want? Absolutely! You can go back and adjust their appearance, voices, speech styles, descriptions, or even the environment to create whatever kind of chatbot you can imagine. And if you think that's not enough for you, we have an advanced mode with even more settings that we will explain in another video.